Assalamualaikum warahmatullah my dear teachers i am sajad akbar athar working as in charge ict diet sopor today here in this presentation we will discuss some basic concepts regarding the use of zoom application since diet sopor has recently started the training of teachers through virtual mode and this application has played an important role for the conduct of such training programs most of the teachers are using the mobile version of zoom application so here we will discuss the mobile version of zoom application and its various features so first thing is that we need to have the zoom application in our mobile phone if we have the zoom application then it's okay if we don't have the zoom application we can easily download that from play store once you download it it is installed we will get the zoom icon in the mobile phone as shown here in the screen so once you have the zoom application and you open this the first feature we need to access is that how to change the display name for example the display name of my zoom app is sajad rathar now i want to change it how to change this in display name simple you need to click on the setting icon once you click on the setting icon you will get another screen you have the profile photo account personal note department etc so to change the display name you just need to click on the right side of the display name here as shown here by the arrow once you click there you will get a pop up window with two text boxes i have here two text boxes i have written as 8888 and rathar sajad my actual display name was sajad rathar now it will get updated to 8888 rathar sajad once i will click on this you can see the display name has been updated now the display name has been updated now once you are in the meeting you will get these icons now we will see each icon one by one first you have the pop up message call over internet to activate your microphone you need to click here on the call over internet once you click on this your microphone has been enabled that is you are using the device audio now the first menu is here mic if you want to mute it you have to click on that very icon it is muted and you will not be audible to the participants once you click again on this mic it will get unmuted and if you want to speak you can easily speak and your voice will be audible to the participants so the first option is to speak and if you want to keep mute just click on this it will get muted again clicking on that will make it unmute second option is start video if you want to show some videos you click on this it will start showing your videos again clicking on that will stop the video now the third option is share important option in the zoom application but if the host is allowing you to share only that only after that you can share the presentation or document this option is only enabled till the host is allowing you to share fourth option is participants you need to click on this you will get the details list of the participants which are in the meeting and the fourth button is more before this option the right uh, top right there is leave if you want to exit from the meeting there is on the top left there is a speaker which allow you to listen if you click on this you and the speaker will get off and you will not be able to listen whatever is said in the meeting now we will click on more button once you click on the more you will get these options these are very important options in the zoom application so if the presentation is nice you can use these smileys now another option is disconnect audio to disconnect audio click on this there is chat there is raise hand first we will discuss raise hand raise hand is very important feature in the zoom application it is usually done when you want to speak you raise your hand and the host will see that the you have raised your hand and he will allow you to 
speak in the zoom meeting now the last option here it is chat to chat to put your views in the zoom meeting to the participants to the host you need to click on this chat icon once you click on this chat icon a chat box will come here you can type whatever you want to share with the participants once you type you just click on the send icon and it will be sent to the participants in the chat room in this way these were the basic features of the zoom application i hope these options we have discussed it here you will be now able to use them properly for the efficient of for the efficient use of zoom application now thank you thank you for watching now request is to share this video with the teachers with the students so that they can easily use this app and get maximum benefit from this application and do subscribe this channel thank you thank you very much